Thank you, Johnny. Hi, folks, and welcome. This is Jeopardy! This is Jeopardy! Today's contestants are... Player one! Player two! Player three! And now, here is the host of Jeopardy! Alex Trebek! Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's go to work in the Jeopardy round. The first round of play today has these categories for you. Steve Martin movies. How about them tigers? Playwrights. That's so cliché. Zoology. And where's that? Player one, you start us off. Select a clue by pointing the Wii remote at the screen and pressing the A. Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Chevy Chase were these title characters of a 1986 comedy. Let's hear it, player one. Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direction on the... Yep. <laughs> player one. In planes, trains, and automobiles, Steve Martin told him, those aren't pillows. Yes, player one. You are correct. Please pick again, player one. This 1987 comedy in which Steve played Fire Chief C.D. Bales was based on Cyrano de Bergerac. Player one? That's correct. <laughs> player one? Steve Martin and Bonnie Hunt are the parents of an extremely large brood in this 2003 remake. Okay, player one. Yes. Player one. Uh, it's the Daily Double. Uh, you are currently in the lead. Please select and the clue. Queen Latifah wreaks havoc on the life of straight-laced lawyer Steve Martin in this 2003 comedy. You have maintained your lead. Way to go. Player one, pick again. This tiger is the great spokes cat for Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Player two. Correct. You again, player two. Let's go over to Kelly. The South China tiger has these features spaced farther apart than other species do. On each individual tiger, they're unique, like fingerprints. Okay, player one. Yeah! Right you are. We return to you. Tiger is the second rank in this organization for young boys. It's player one. That's it. Select again. Tigers are the largest cats, and the tiger named for this Russian region is the largest tiger. Yes, player two. Yes! yes. <laughs> Choose again, player The two. largest population of wild tigers is found in this Asian country on about 30 wildlife reserves. Let's hear it, player one. Good for you. Player one, you pick again. His father, James O'Neill, was a 19th century actor whose most famous role was the Count of Monte Cristo. Yes, player three. <laughs> right. We return to you, player three. Public disgust over his play, Ghosts, caused this Norwegian to retaliate in his An Enemy of the People. 
It's player one. Yes. Yeah. You again, player one. This Pulitzer Prize-winning playwright was related to John Sevier, the first governor of the volunteer state. Player one. Woo! Right. <laughs> Please pick again. This Shakespeare contemporary is remembered for Dr. Faustus and for getting stabbed to death. Okay, player three. Hey, you're right. Hey, hey, hey. Select again. A 1934 New York City taxi driver's strike led him to write Waiting for Lefty, the first of his plays to be produced. Let's hear it. Player two. That's correct. Player two. Pick again. Need something? Well, just come to the point and stop beating around the this. Yes, player one. You got it. <laughs> player one. The final outrage is the straw that breaks this animal's back. Okay, player two. Good. <laughs> Choose again. Player People two. who meet briefly and then go their separate ways are like these that pass in the night. Let's hear it. Player two. Yeah. Yeah. Good. You get to pick again. Player two. You've been in trouble if someone has read you this act. It's player one. Correct. <laughs> Player one. An indefinitely long time is often referred to as a month of these days. Player three. That's right. Way to go. Player three. Pick again. The giant Pacific this may have as many as 1,600 suckers on its arms. They help it to taste and touch. Yes, player two. <laughs> that is correct. Select again. While it doesn't breathe fire, the dragon named for this Indonesian island does kill its prey with its deadly saliva. Okay, player three. Good. <laughs> we return to you, player Dog three. Doggone it, a mud puppy isn't a little doggy, but a large one of these amphibians. Let's hear it, player three. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Player three, back to a type of this snake that sounds like a James Clavell novel is Australia's deadliest and most feared. Player two. Yeah! Good. You again, player two. The rare white alligator has a condition called leucism, meaning it lacks this skin pigment. It's player one. That is correct. You get to pick again, player one. Upon its 1914 completion, this shortened a ship's voyage between New York City and San Francisco by about 8,000 miles. Player two. Good for you. Please pick again, player Looking two. Looking like it's going to get the boot and covering nearly 10,000 square miles, it's the largest island in the Mediterranean. Let's hear it, player three. Yeah! Correct. <laughs> Choose again.
choose again. Player three. Portland, Salem, and Eugene are the largest cities in this state. Okay, player three. Yeah. You are correct. <laughs> player three. Wellington is its capital. Yes, player two. You got it. Here's the $1,000 clue for you. Take me to your lemur. This island country lies about 240 miles east of the African mainland. It's player two. That's correct. The double jeopardy round will begin right after this. We start the Double Jeopardy categories with this one. The Founding Fathers. When they were in high school. Science grab bag. Drink it, dance it, or drive it. Foreign words and phrases. And what are you made of? Player three, you go first in this Double Jeopardy round. In early April of 1775, William Dawes, Samuel Prescott, and this man rode to warn patriots to move military stores from Concord. Player one? <laughs> right. Player one? Three years after writing the Declaration of Independence, he succeeded Patrick Henry as Virginia governor. Let's hear it. Player two. Yes. <laughs> Player two. On July 3rd, 1776, he wrote to his wife Abigail that the colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states. It's player two. Good. Ah, yeah. Player two. You pick. Let's get Kelly's assistance on this clue. A 1775 letter from this founding father to the Pennsylvania Journal is thought to have inspired the Don't Tread on Me flag. Yes, player one. Yes. <laughs> Select again. In public good, this pamphleteer called for Virginia to cede land needed to form a strong central government. Okay, player one. Right you are. You again, player one. He ran track at Skyline High in Oakland. Good practice for the role of Forrest Gump. Let's hear it, player three. Yeah! Correct. <laughs> player three. As a teen in British Columbia, she said her goal was to be a California beach bum. She got her wish on Baywatch. Player two. That is correct. Player two. Pick to make extra money, she sometimes cleaned out the tour bus for her mom Naomi and sister Winona. It's player two. That's right. Way to go. You get to pick again, player two. As a high school basketball star in Irvington, New Jersey, this royal rapper led her team to two state championships. Yes, player three. Ah, oh, good. Please pick again, player He three. played quarterback for the Terrell High School Tigers before he won an Oscar for playing Ray Charles. Okay, player one. Right. We return to you, player one. These cells from human embryos can grow into any type of tissue and may someday cure diabetes and Alzheimer's. Player two. Yeah! 
Yes. Choose again. Player two. Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus are called this type of planet after a Roman god. It's player one. Yeah! Right. <laughs> player one, back to... Yeah! Answer. The first of the Daily Doubles. And you're in the lead now. So, what's your wager? Okay, here is the clue. A material called URHGE can be manipulated into being a resistance-free super this. That puts you even further ahead. We return to you, player one. We're not faking. Alphabetically, it's last among the elements on the periodic table. Yes, player two. That's correct. <laughs> Select again. All right, here with the clue is Kelly. The two main kinds of lens are diverging and this type that bends rays of light inward so they meet at the focal point. Okay, player three. Yep. Player three, pick again. Cabriolet. Let's hear it. Player two. Woo! Hey, you're right. <laughs> Please pick again. Player Humble. two. Yes, player three. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Choose again. Player three. Kirsch. It's player three. That's yeah! correct. You get to pick again. Trabant. Let's hear it. Player two. Oh. Right. <laughs> player two. Quapala. Okay, player three. Right. You again, player three. Before a trip, it's proper to wish someone born this, whether they're traveling by ship or not. Player three. Right you are. Player three, you pick again, please. In many places of business, no zapatos, no service. Zapatos being Spanish for these. Okay, player two. Yes. Select again. Italian for to the tooth. It's how to order your pasta if you want it a little firm. It's player two. Good. Player two, back to you. And sir, the second daily double. You're in second right now. You need to select your wager. The clue. Seize the day, I tell you, but do it with this Latin phrase. Good. Player two, you pick again. Kelly will present this clue. Locomotives with a 282 wheel configuration are called this type, an old name for the Emperor of Japan. Player three. Good. Choose again. Player three. 
Queen Elizabeth II at Madame Tussauds. Yes, player two. Ooh. You got it. <laughs> you get to pick again, player two. Moses by Michelangelo at San Pietro in Vincoli, Rome. Let's hear it, player two. That is correct. <laughs> player two. Back to come see. On Cheers. It's player two. You are correct. Please pick again. Player two. Here's Kelly. She'll show you. The warriors of China's first Qin Emperor are made of this. It's Italian for baked earth. Player three. Good for you. Here's the $2,000 clue. St. John the Baptist by Donatello at Siena Cathedral. Okay, player two. Yes. Congratulations to all of you. You'll be continuing on to Final Jeopardy when we come back. We're back. The category for Final Jeopardy today is U.S. politics. So, what's your wager? Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. And now the last clue. Since 1960, only Massachusetts and this state have produced more than one of the 10 Democratic presidential nominees. Did you come up with the correct response? And this correct response will add how much to your score? And your response? How much do you add to your total with that correct response? Let's see your response. And Woo! that correct response will add Woo! Congratulations, player one. <laughs> You're the winner. We'll see you next time.